the leader of Russia's 24-hour mutiny, Yevgeny Prigozhin, has arrived in Belarus. Belarus welcomed Prigozhin, who was exiled from Russia. After the mutiny was stopped, Vladimir Putin thanked regular Russian troops for averting a civil war. The advance of the rebel mercenaries and the fact that they could seize a military headquarter put Putin's rule in question. Reports emerged questioning whether Putin's power was diminished since the Wagner's mutiny. But Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that the political commentators were getting over-emotional and said that the authorities do not agree that Putin's power was ever weakened. The Russian president himself attempted to portray the dramatic events at the weekend as a victory for the Russian regular military. He said that the troops had shown restraint in not being drawn into fighting with the Wagner force. Putin also addressed the Russian military in a Kremlin courtyard to hold a minute's silence for airmen slain by the Wagner group. Prigozhin is a former Kremlin ally and a contractor who built Russia's most powerful private army. He also claimed that his men were cheered by civilians during his short-lived revolt. But Putin insisted that Wagner's ordinary fighters had seen that the army and the people were not with them. In a separate meeting with defense officials, Putin confirmed that Wagner was wholly funded by the Russian federal budget despite operating as an independent company. The Russian leader added that in the past year itself, since the assault on Ukraine, Moscow had paid the group 86.262 billion rubles, which is equivalent to $1 billion for salaries. In the meantime, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko stepped in to mediate Wagner's U-turn on their way to Moscow. Despite the fact that he's often seen as a junior partner to Putin, even he had criticized Russia's handling of the issue. On the other hand, some in the West have expressed concern that Wagner's revolt could plunge Russia into chaos and endanger the security of its nuclear arsenal. However, Putin stressed that the revolt had not forced Russia to withdraw any of its units from Ukraine, where fighting continued as Kyiv's brigades pursued their counteroffensive in their nation's east and south.